On this edition of Manned Space, we remember the flight of Apollo 17 49 years ago this month by taking a look at some collectibles related to the mission. On August 28, 1972, 5,000 area residents and the crew of Apollo 17, Commander Eugene Cernan, Command Module Pilot Ronald Evans, and Lunar Module Pilot Harrison Schmidt, came to the Kennedy Space Center to watch for the final time a rollout of a Saturn V rocket that would carry men to the moon. Guests attending the rollout ceremony would have been issued ID badges similar to this one from my personal collection. On the front of the card is an image of a Saturn V rocket atop the crawler transporter leaving the vehicle assembly building. On the back, in addition to some information about how the badge may be used, is the printed signature of Charles L. Buckley Jr., longtime chief of security and fire operations at the Kennedy Space Center. Buckley is shown here holding the door to the transfer van that he would then drive to transport Apollo crews to the launch pad. If you had been invited by NASA to attend the launch, you would have been issued a pass just like this one, also from my personal collection. On the front is the Apollo 17 mission insignia, designed by the crew in concert with artist Robert T. McCall. According to Gene Cernan, the insignia emphasizes the themes of mankind, country, and the future. The back of the pass includes a serial number and the printed signature of Kurt Debus, the first director of the Kennedy Space Center. Apollo 17 lifted off at 12.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 7, 1972, making it the only nighttime launch of the Apollo program. I had this image of the nighttime launch hand-signed by Gene Cernan in 2009. Cernan served as commander of Apollo 17. He had previously flown to the moon aboard Apollo 10 and spent three days in space aboard Gemini 9. I obtained this autograph from Cernan way back in 1982. Joining Cernan for the mission was Command Module Pilot Ronald Evans. Apollo 17 was Evans' only spaceflight. This envelope commemorating Evans' Deep Space EVA on December 17, 1972 is hand-signed by Evans. It is canceled on the date of that extravehicular activity. The third member of the crew was Lunar Module Pilot and Geologist Harrison Schmidt. Apollo 17 was Schmidt's only trip to space. Like Cernan's earlier autograph, I obtained this one in the early 1980s. In addition to the autographs, this Apollo 17 display also includes a 4-inch Lion Brothers mission patch. In his book, The Last Man on the Moon, Gene Cernan points to the red bars in the eagle's wings as reflective of the American flag. The three stars represent the three crew members. Note how the eagle's wing just touches the moon, indicating humankind's exploration of that celestial body. Note too how the face of Apollo gazes toward the galaxy, implying further exploration in the future. Finally, the display includes two Apollo 17 commemorative books of matches made available by the RCA company and a replica of the plaque left on the Lunar Module Challenger on the moon. By the time Apollo 17 returned to Earth on December 19, 1972, the crew had been in space for more than 12 and a half days. They had traversed over 22 miles of the moon and over 22 hours spent on the surface and collected over 243 pounds of lunar samples. No humans have been back to the moon since. Do you collect memorabilia from the early days of the space program? Maybe you have collectibles from the Apollo 17 mission. If so, please tell us about it in the comments section. Thanks again for watching Manned Space. Please be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this edition of Manned Space. Also, please be sure to subscribe and click the notification button to see more upcoming videos on the history of the early days of the Manned Space Program.